Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Gift of Gab show. I am your host and your go-to girl, Gabby Smith. I'm so excited today to meet the one and only Troy Antonio. He is the makeup artist here based in Chicago. We're actually at Glam and River North at 351 West Chicago Avenue. Troy has been working with all types of celebrities, he travels nationally, and he's here today to talk nothing but makeup, his advice, his tips, what women should stop doing, what we should start doing. So, welcome to the show, Troy. Thanks for having me. Nice having to me. meet you. Well, you are so popular and famous, so I'm so excited <laughs> to have you because you. you are hard to get. Like, I got you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. So, so let's much. get started with your background. How did you get started in makeup? Um, I was always an artist, so um, like from kindergarten on up, I was always drawing, I was always painting, doing different things with art. So my mom just gave me the idea to do makeup. I didn't really want to go to art school, um, so she was like, well, you got to get a trade so you can get out of my house, you know what I mean? <laughs> right. So um, she did hair, so it kind of went hand in hand, but it was mainly my mom. She got me interested in it. So as I mentioned, you work with celebrities, yes. so can you tell us some of the celebrities you work with? Um, <laughs> I feel like I'm like getting an award or something out of <laughs> Um, I worked with Gabrielle Union, um, I worked with Kehlani, um, I worked with Anika Nani Rose, Naomi Harris, um, I recently just worked with Rutina Wesley, um, who's from Queen Sugar, um, that was awesome. Um, it, the list, Avery Sunshine, it just goes on and on and on. Tiana Taylor, so just different types of celebrities, different types of people. And would you say everyone is pretty cool? Oh my god, uh, every, every experience has been, you know, it's, changed my life every single time, you know what I mean? Because I'm so humble about it, that makes sense. Um, it just keeps me like grounded and people's energy I always tag on to. So I feel like me going in with the positive attitude and with the right attitude, people reciprocate that. So how did you connect with all these people? I mean, you, you worked with some A-listers, yes. so how, <laughs> do you, how did they get to know you? Um, honestly, it was like fate. It was at some were right place, right time, some were you know, referrals. Um, I do have a, a mentor, Mally Maddox. She put me in the right place at the right time to meet Gabby. Um, I was actually doing another client, and Gabby saw her, and it. she was like, floor about her makeup. And so she was like, who did this? And she called me, or texted me a month later. Wow. So it was <laughs> to get a text from Gabby right. Exactly, that's exactly. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so nice. So just right place, right time, exactly. and just the right opportunity. Exactly. Well, tell our viewers out there, what are some things that you would recommend women do with their makeup? Like, you know, if you're looking for more of a natural look, what are some of the things that they should always have with them? What types of makeup? Um, I feel like you should always have mascara with you. I feel like you should always have a lip with you. Um, brows give you, you know, a little bit more definition, but it still keeps your look pretty natural. Um, it, and natural makeup is all about the pressure and the um, amount you put on, if that makes sense. So you can have like a full coverage foundation, but you know, have a beauty blender to soak up all the extra stuff and just kind of press it on a little bit. And that gives you coverage, but not too much, not too cakey. Okay, that makes sense. So do you recommend lip gloss or lipstick? Uh, I am a lip gloss fiend. I okay. love like a chicken, just a chicken lip. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, but lipsticks, lipsticks you can have more playroom with. You know, they come in so many different textures. You can have a little bit more coverage with lipsticks, but I'm a gloss fiend. Okay, so you, you tend to lean towards the yeah. gloss, not really the lipstick. If I do a lipstick, it'll be a little bit and then all gloss over top of it. Okay, <laughs> all right. So what are some of the trends out there? I know Smoky Eye at one point was really popular. Yes. What are some of the trends that you see today? Right now, skin is in. It's all about that no makeup makeup that takes you like an hour to do, but it, it looks like you've barely been sun kissed, if that makes sense. Um, that is the main trend, and that's what I like most about makeup. Um, I don't like that harsh like contour and the harsh brow and everything like that, but um, I feel like that skin is always going to be in, especially for the upcoming seasons. So what about little girls? Because I see a lot of little girls these days, you know, with makeup, and <laughs> I, what do you think is a good age to get started? I Personally, I feel like 16. 16. If I had a child 16, I wouldn't have a pageant girl. <laughs> I'm a makeup fiend, but 
I just feel like my daughter, she has to grow up. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't want her to grow up too fast. So I feel like 16 is a good age. You know, you start breaking out sometimes. You kind of want to cover it. You know, I feel like that's a good starting point. Okay, okay, that's good to know. Well, yeah. let's talk trends. So how do you stay current with what's popular? Um, Instagram. Oh. I feel like Instagram is the place to go. Um, I feel like Mac is the trendsetter of the industry. I feel like if you want to go brand-wise, but I feel like Instagram gives you all the trends. It's always on. Somebody's always coming up with something new. So where do you, um, what products do you use? Do you use a Mac or a Bobby Brown? I mean, what do you like to use? Um, it just depends on what it is. Um, Bobby Brown sticks are my foundation that I'm currently doing in my routine. I do a lot of matte shadows. Um, I do a lot of Anastasia shadows. Um, so it just all varies. And then it depends on the person too. You know, some people like a more heavier or some people like a more lighter. So I just kind of gauge the person before I choose what products. I have all kinds of things in my kit. You do? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. So how do you match that perfect um, color with the person's skin? What is your, your, your technique? Sometimes I mix. It just depends. Um, sometimes I mix out, do like a stick foundation and then a, um, and then a liquid over top just to kind of balance it out. I may start with something more warm because um, people of color usually have a little a warm um, halo around their face. And I may do something lighter in the center. Um, it's just how, it's just like a balance if that makes sense. You want to contrast yourself. That's how you get contours or that's how you get shading and a flight. What about the neck? Do you also? The neck, the chest, shoulders, everything, especially okay. on brides. Oh, oh, right, right, it's absolutely. So just to get that perfect yes. blend. And it depends on what you're wearing as well. So now, that's a great that's a great point. So I see some people, if they have a green shirt on, they feel like they need to match the green <laughs> with some green eyeshadow. Do you recommend that? You match your makeup with the outfit? <laughs> what do you think? Um, that is, I feel like that's personal. I feel like if I was a girl and I wore like a neon dress, and a neon lip and a neon eyeshadow, I can sell it. You know, it's about attitude. You know it what I mean? It's attitude. It's about right. attitude. But I feel, like, <laughs> I feel like you have to, I don't want to say match. I feel like you have to, um, oh, what's the word I want to use? You want to like compliment? Compliment, yes. Okay. Compliment. Um, but I feel like if, you, if you're that girl, you can sell it. You know what I mean? I feel like makeup is very personal. Okay, all right. Now, what about men? Do you do makeup for men or is it just women? Grooming, makeup grooming. So I work on a TV show, Black Ink Crew Chicago, and I do the men there for screening. But what, what is Black Ink Chicago? It is a show on VH1. It's a reality TV show. Nice, so nice. It's like, you know, regular ratchet TV. Yeah, ratchet yeah. TV. We all love the ratchet TV. <laughs> right. Okay, we all do. Right. But I love the cast. I okay. love the crew. It's just ratchet TV. Okay. They're not ratchet themselves. Okay. That I get sense. that. I get that. All right. So you, you do the makeup for the men and the women yes. on that show. Yes. And it's based here in Chicago. It is, yes. Okay, got it. Now, what about um, lashes? Because I know lashes are very big right now. Are you all about lashes? All about the lashes. Now, why? Why are you so like excited? You can take your makeup from zero to 100. Really? If you have no shadow on, a brow, a lip, and a lash. And you're set, done. Dress done. on, out the door, hair done. If your hair can be tied up in a bun and put on a lash and feel like a million bucks. And it's about that attitude. It's all about that attitude. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> so you gotta get some good lashes. Exactly. Do, don't do like the scoop lashes. You What's know? a scoop lash? <laughs> what is that? You know the ones that have like the real thick band and they look like little scoops? Oh, <laughs> like, oh yeah. that is not true. <laughs> I, I hate those, but okay. you know, a lash will definitely uplift your makeup. So do you do it the one at a time? I do, I do strip lashes. Oh, you do? I love strip lashes. Okay, Me so you like lashes. that better than the one individual? Um, it depends. Like, if you go to a salon and get them individual, they come out great. Okay. Um, but I don't do that. Okay. I always do strip lashes. Sometimes I do strip lashes over those lashes. Oh, interesting. Okay. It just gives you a little bit more volume. Yeah, with that attitude. Exactly. I like you that. <laughs> I like that attitude. Well, okay, so I want to talk about lips now because okay. I know you're all about the lip gloss. Yes. What about lip liner? Do you use a lip liner? Or always. Do you just Always. I feel like it cleans up the lips so perfect. I feel like if you know, it just it just gets rid of that jagged edge, if that makes sense. It okay. makes it look more pop.
polished and more done. Especially if the lip is your focus on your face. Okay. If that makes sense. No, it does make sense. So do you put it on before or after? I do it after. You okay. can do it before. It okay. just depends on what kind of lip you're going for. Um, if you want a, like a bigger lips and you do something darker, I would do that first and then blend your lipstick over top of that. But if you just want to enhance the line with the same color, I would do that after. Okay, okay. Now, let me ask you. You're walking down the street okay. in Chicago, River North. Okay. And I feel it. You feel, feel it, right? It. Are you with me? Yes, okay. So, you see women walking. Yes. Do you look at women's faces all the time? All the time. Okay, so what are women doing they should not do? <laughs> what should we stop? <laughs> like, Tell us. Like I said, makeup is very personal, yes. so I never judge. I just do it from my point of view. Okay. So what I may think is crazy yes. you may love it okay so i never want women to lose their confidence in what they're doing if that makes sense yes. because like i said you have to sell your own look you know i'm the type of person i will wear red eyeshadow and tell you that i am the bomb yeah you know what I mean? own it. so yes. it just depends on you so okay. i don't want to say something is wrong but i i can say what i don't like okay <laughs> okay so what don't you like? i don't like hard i don't like hard brows Okay. I don't like hard liner. Okay. I don't like hard contours. I love a real soft, blended out look. Okay. What about like the thin eyebrows? Um, I've never, I haven't seen thin eyebrows in a long time. Oh, yeah, it's been a while, yeah, but, yeah, but okay. But, uh, Maybe it's a good thing. Right. Right. <laughs> <Exactly. laughs> but like, you know how they look drawn on. Like, they yeah. look like they've been printed on your face. Yeah. I just, it makes me cringe. You don't like the tattoo eyebrows? I, I like the microblading. It okay. was done right. Okay. Microblading um, is, is, is really popular right now and I feel like it make, it enhances the face and it looks real. It looks natural. Okay. It depends on who does it. But I, I can go for that. But the tattoo, like old brows like that you had from 1996, yeah. green now. No, can't do no, that. We can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> we can't do exactly. those. Oh. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so it's just all about that confidence. Exactly. All right, so any other tips that you give our audience? You know, women out there that are trying to enhance their look, what do you think that we should be doing? I would just say have a focal point. Um, if you're going to do eyes, focus on eyeshadow, focus on your mascara and lashes, and just leave everything blank. Um, not really blank, but nudie. Um, if you have your lips, focus on your lips. If that's like your favorite part of your face, and then just leave your eyes a little bit more simple. You know what I mean? That's the best way to enhance your makeup is just to have a focal point. Okay, not overdo exactly. all the areas. Exactly. Of your Don't face. feel like you always have to be like made up all the time, you know? Especially for beginners. You know, have a focal point. Okay, okay, I like that. So you've worked with so many celebrities as you mentioned. Do you ever get nervous? Um, I get nervous, but I feel like once I'm there, I get in my, my artist mode. So I just blank out and I just focus on, I don't forget about the person and I focus on my blending. I focus on, you know, creating a perfect palette rather than like, oh my God, I'm doing this person. Like, <laughs> oh my right, God, exactly. you're gonna get all the magazines. Exactly. if I get in that yeah. mind state, I will freak out and it won't be what I want. Right. You know what I mean? So you gotta just focus. Exactly. Um, so you've been all about makeup. Do you see yourself doing something else in the future? Like say fashion or? If I do anything, it will be totally opposite. I probably would be like on Ratchet TV. You know, <laughs> I would be like a person, right? I would be a personality or something. Okay. I don't think I would go into more fashion. I, you know, I barely can dress myself. You know, it's. It, I would. I think I would do something a little bit more personable. You okay. know, some where somebody can like watch me. Yeah. Well, you do have a great personality, <laughs> so I see you being successful. Whatever you do, thank honestly. You. Well, thank Troy, thank you so much for being on the Get Your Gap Show. It has been such a pleasure learning about some makeup tips and just really how to get started if you're a beginner or if you're not a beginner. So how can people find you? If anyone wants to meet with you or just get some advice, where would you um, suggest they go? You can find me on Instagram at Mannequin Skin. That's M-A-N-N-E-Q-U-I-N-S-K-I-N. All one word. Again, thank you so much. And ladies, men, if you're just looking for some makeup, Definitely listen to what he's saying. He's definitely pulling out some good points. And you know what? Like he said, it's all about your attitude. So go out there, be you, do you, and just enjoy your face and your focal points that you have. So, all right. Until next time, guys, go to giftofgapshow.com and you'll see more of my videos and more of my interviews with some of the great celebrities. And again, a big thanks to Chura, who is the man, <laughs> and you will find him doing great work in Chicago and all around the world. Thanks, guys. Kill him, kill him, kill him with compassion. And baby, yeah, they